The purpose of this video is to help you understand how to navigate the programming activities when working with the Intermatic Sunrise Sunset Timer. I'm going to try to help you understand the function of these buttons as opposed to telling you what they do. I'm going to tell you how it all works. Um, basically, we have the timer in uh, resting mode right here. It's a normal operating mode. And um, when you're, this is the, how the timer normally exists. Um, but there's three different ways to modify the settings on, the, on this timer. The program button, which chooses one of the 14 on-off times. The time button, which allows you to set the, the date and time of the internal clock of this timer. And then the mode button, which allows you to set the state of the, the device that you're timing and also turn on or off the timer. Uh, generally, when you enter one of these program modes, um, some of the other buttons have slightly different meanings than what they uh, may say on the button itself. For example, the program button is used to choose one of the 14 on-off times. and You can see that changing down here. Each time I click the program button, it will choose another, a, a different on-off uh, time, and there's 14 of those. And that's all this program button does. If you want to actually change a value with the program button, you need to use the plus minus uh, buttons. That's how you change values. But to select a field that you're going to change, you would use the time button. So in this case, we are in the uh, seven on. So this is the seventh program for turning on. We, we have three different values that we can choose. Uh, it's three different fields. Day of the week, you can see that Monday is flashing up here. The hour of the day and the minute of the day. So you can choose which of those three fields you're modifying or you, you, can, you want to modify by simply clicking the uh, time button, which really at this point in, in when we're in this programming mode, the time button really means select field. So you select the field that you want to modify, and then you modify it with the plus or the minus buttons, like this. Go up with the plus and down with the minus. Um, one, uh, um, and once you're done with uh, setting a value in the for the program mode, you can move to the next program using the program button. That's all it does; is it just moves it onto the. Uh, next button. So let's get back to 7 on. Here we go. That's the one we were just working with. And you can see that that currently is only going to come on on Monday. But let's say I want that to come on all seven days of the week. So um, that's flashing and, and we're, we're okay with that. So to change it, I would click the plus button and choose, uh, we see, we can choose either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and eventually we get to where it'll show all seven days of the week, or some subset of the week, like maybe the weekdays or the weekends, there's the weekdays. Let's say we want it all seven days of the week, and that's, and let's say that's the only thing we want to change in this, for this particular program. Well, we don't, we can wait, and it'll time out and go back to normal operating mode, or we can quickly exit by just hitting the mode button. So the mode button becomes exit when you're programming this any particular uh, setting. It's just a convenient way to get back to normal operating mode. To configure the internal calendar uh, and clock of this device you would hit the time button once and once we do that the time the meaning of the time button really becomes select the next field the mode button becomes exit again, so we can get right out and exit again with the mode button. But let's say we want to actually set up the clock. There are nine different fields that you can change with uh, the clock. There's the, the year, the month, the day, whether or not daylight savings time automatically changes. You can change, then you would set the hour of the day, the minute of the day. And each time you do this, the, the field that you've selected will start flashing, and that means you can change it with the plus or the minus button. 
let's keep moving. Now this is an interesting one. There's three different possible values for the sunrise sunset region south central and north and you'd need to refer to the map that comes with the timer to know which region you live in um, but you would choose one of those three and when you do you would then click the time button to select the next field and in this case it the, this field is the actual sunrise time and it's going to rise at 634 a.m. But you can go to Google and put in your, ask for the sunrise time in your zip code and then modify this time up to 30 minutes plus or minus to get the actual sunrise time for your time zone. Once you've done sunrise, then you need to do sunset. One more click of the time button to choose the next field. You set that up properly. Another click of the time button and we're done. All nine fields have been modified and the, the, calendar and clock of this device is set and generally you would only ever have to set that one time. Now that we've configured the sunrise and sunset times per our uh, region, I need to show you how to um, use, take advantage of, of that in your programming of the 14 on off times. So let's choose uh, one on as and just uh, use the sunrise and sunset for one on. So we click one on and then we use the time button to select uh, the field and we want to select the hour field and um, generally you would use the plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease the um, hour for when you're setting the on time However, if you get to 12 and then go back one, it will actually choose the <clears throat> sunset time for you. You go back one more, it will choose sunrise. You go back one more and it goes to 11 p.m. and then 10 p.m. and so forth. So when you, if you're going forward, you get to 11 p.m., it will show you sunrise and then sunset and then 12 p.m. So that's how you locate the sunrise and sunset times. So let's say that we want one on to come on at uh, sunset, which is 425 p.m. in this example. And we then move to one off by clicking the program button. Again, the program button always chooses the next uh, program. Um, on or off, and then we go into the mode, we select the right field, in this case we want to select the hour, and we're going to go backwards to get to the sunrise. So that should go on at sunset and off at sunrise, and then we exit. And then to check our work we just use the the program button, and it's only going to happen on Monday as you can see for one on and then we go to one off and happens on Monday every uh, Monday at sunrise <clears throat> and these times will change each day uh, every single day as the sunrise and sunset changes so that's how you uh, select sunrise or sunset and that's not a specific time but a uh, and a variable time according to when the sun actually sets or rises. Finally, let's talk about the mode button um, as, a, as a, an initial click. Um, I've plugged in a little uh, night light here um, which uh, represents a lamp that we're timing. The mode button allows you to turn this device on or off and it also allows you to turn the timer itself on or off. And currently, you can see that uh, the off, it says off, and that, that refers to the device. And there's a blank space over here, um, which is really reserved for the timer, and the timer is off right now. So let's, there are six possible settings for the mode. There's three possible settings for the timer itself, and two settings for the lamp that is um, uh, 
being controlled by the timer. So that comes out to six different values. Now you can click the mode value mode button six times before it cycles around. So let's go ahead and click it once and we see that the auto uh, keyword came on which means that the timer now is enabled and it will turn the, the, the lamp on or off at the at you know according to the, the 14 uh, program times. Um, if we click it again, it switches to RDM or random, which is uh, just another version of saying the timer is, is on, but it's going to be um, not come on at exactly the same time every day, just a little bit on or before or after the actual time. Um, but we still have the device, the lamp or whatever, is still off. So let's click that one more time, and we see that it switched to on here, and the lamp actually came on. Um, so this is basically the way you manually control the the, the lamp that you're um, timing and you can turn it on uh, and you can turn the timer on if you have it in this state then the time um, the next time the uh, an off program uh, threshold is crossed this light would then go off and that would switch to off and it reflects the the status of the timer and then we uh, Click it again. We're in random mode with the starting it with the uh, with the light on, and then we finally get back to where we originally were, where it's off. It's a little bit confusing that they tied um, the, these two different things that we're controlling together. You know, the 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 light itself and then the state status of the timer, but you can deal with it. I'll you know you just click through and and generally you'll want to start off in auto off. Um, you'll want the, the 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 light off and the timer in auto mode. And if you if you don't have the timer in auto or random, then the light will never come on by itself per the timer. Um, so you may think, hey, I've got a bad I've got a bad timer. It's not working. But it really you just have to be careful to make sure that either auto or random are on. So that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about. Just to summarize again, there's three entry points for the programming of this device. Um, so we currently have the uh, standard operating mode and we can we can go into program mode or time mode or actual uh, can turn the timer on and off itself. When you click this program button, the time button becomes a select button select field the mode button becomes exit same with the time when you click the time button the time button after that point becomes a field select button and the mode becomes an exit button plus and minus are always there to change the values now there is one bonus item that um, I didn't discuss and that is the resume button and it's kind of a, a wacky button but if you're in a, a program mode say in this case three on and you want to clear that out, you just hit resume and that clears that out.